All right, guys, welcome to number three, top 20 contacts. Let's go through this. So here's a highlight is you're going to develop a starting place to start your business. I want you to remember this. It's not about who you know. It's about who they could lead to. Some of the best people you're going to meet, customers and partners, are going to be not the people you currently know, but who they have led you to as a referral, okay? So we want to start somewhere. We've already networked. We already know some people that would be willing to get the ball rolling to help us identify the people that we need to build this great company. So start by writing down 20 people that you're associated with, whether you work with them, you know them well, you see them often, and we're going to develop that as a starting place, okay? Write a quick bio, who they are, how you know them, something simple, a sentence will do. And what you're going to do is develop approach with for each person with a business partner or mentor in the business, okay? Learn some basic approaches on how to get people, again, to just see the overview. That's going to be our end goal is how can we get everyone to at least understand what we do. Have the events, dates already. You did that, hopefully, in the previous video. You scheduled out. Maybe you know your mentor is doing the plan on Thursday. You're doing one on Tuesday. You have the dates already identified, okay? Choose the type of event that you want to host per person. It may change for a different person, and you're going to contact the people who show interest. So here's some tips. Remember, it's not about who you know. It's about who they know. Focus on helping them and have them help you rather than who's right to be a business partner. Who's, who's someone that will get that? Understand that everyone you know knows someone who's excellent. Focus on it costs more not to own this, mathematically proven, by the way, it costs someone more to not own this today, okay, than if they were to own this, even if they didn't build a huge business. And focus on the fact that we do what everyone else does and we get paid for it. That's the shopping annuity. Everyone spends money and now they can develop an asset out of their expenses. That's relatable to the entire population of the planet. And so use that as a focal point rather than maybe the opportunity to develop a business. More people will relate to, oh, I can, I can earn on my spending then. Why should I be an entrepreneur, if that makes sense, okay? Everyone you know uh, knows knows uh, who's at least, uh, knows people, sorry, is misprint, knows people uh, uh, that, that could lead you to two to 10 incredible people that if they knew about this, could develop this successfully, okay? So you don't need everyone. We're looking for a high volume of contacts to select a small group of great people. We're looking for the good ones. And have a mentor develop an approach for each person. Write out your top 20 list. This is an action point. Write out your top 20 list and email it to your mentor. That's your homework. All right, best place to start is look on Facebook. Facebook has a feature to print out your contacts. That's where I started. There's a video on my YouTube channel, The Stack Life, under uh, shop.com training. There's a playlist, super quick. It'll teach you how to print out your uh, friends list in five seconds. Print that out and then start using that list to identify 20 people you can start with. Okay, second best place is your contact list on your phone. Point is, write out their name, how you know them, and who they are. Print it out and also email a copy to your mentor because you're going to start your business with that list. Now listen, don't frantically try to build this with anyone. Just have an organization to what you do. So you're going to have that list and you're going to strategically approach each one, okay? And then after this, the next video is how you develop thousands of new people rather than just relying on your top 20. This may not be the end-all be-all to your business. You may never get through it. You may have plenty of contacts and build this to incredible success just with these top 20, but we don't want to rely on that. We also want to plan for what happens if the people here aren't going to produce the people we need for our business. We want to also build a whole brand new network and expand your network. So that's what the next video will be once you do that. Once you've identified uh, your list and have talked to your mentor, You've identified approaches. Now it's time to start contacting them, okay? So who's, here's two approaches that you would use after you talk to your mentor about each person, okay? But these are two basics, and they're bullets. So you have an idea. If you ever had to do this by yourself without help, here's where you would start, okay? Let's just say I have a cousin, Sam, who I see all the time. Um, don't know if he'd be right, but I know he'd be open to at least seeing the business plan, either webinar or in person. So I'd call Sam up. Number one, by the way, is text the person before you call them. In today's world, people don't like when their phone rings and uh, they didn't give you permission. They like when you ask permission. So I can say, hey, Sam, it's Ryan. You got a second. Wanted to run something by you real quick. And guess what they're going to do? They're going to let you know when they have a second. And when they say, well, not now, but call me at five. See, today's world is you have to get permission before you do something. All right. So make sure you honor that. It's just the weird world of society today. Send a text or private message on Facebook. Ask for permission or the best time to call them. Okay. 
Then I call them. I say, hey, Sam, thanks for you know taking my call and you're going to do some small talk. And then you get to the point. Listen, I only have a second. The reason calling I'm calling is we've known each other forever. We're family. And I've just started my shop.com business. Okay, really great. Sam, we've known each other forever. You're super successful. You know everyone in town. What I wanted to do was see if you'd be willing to help me out. Join me on this webinar on Thursday night. Or if you're not free Thursday, I'm doing it next Tuesday as well so that you can understand how this business concept works. Okay, you may or may not be interested personally. I totally get that. I know you're super busy, but I know it'd be really worth it for you to see how this works. And the worst case is I'm going to show you how you can get paid on spending the, the money you spend today. Okay. Would you do me a favor and, and help me out? It would mean the world to me. I really appreciate it. What night works best and go for the appointment. And they may say, well, I'm happy to help you out. What is this? Just say, you know, it's too hard to really, you know, explain. A big part is we get people paid on their shopping, but there's a whole other aspect to this. So I, I really would just Feel better if you saw the whole thing rather than me trying to, you know, confuse it on this call. That's why, you know, it's really important for you to see how the whole thing works. So you go back to it all. If they ask a lot of questions, it's a great question. It's exactly why I want you to see this. And then book the appointment. <clears throat> Here's another approach. Let's say you just know some people, but you don't know them that well. But you started talking to them and then the next video is going to show you how to really start a lot of conversations up with people that you don't know. But here's another way is you could take someone maybe you've only talked to for several weeks and let's say their name's Sam and they live in New York City and in our business we have trainings all over the country and all over the world and if someone's in an area where we have a great training system now you can see maybe if they would be willing to help you identify people in that area so let's say you're on Facebook and they're live on Facebook you can say hey Sam are you still located in New York City right the reason I ask is I own a successful shop.com business here in whatever state you're in and I'm looking to expand in New York City because they have the training already in place. I'm looking for great contacts in your area. I don't personally know people in that area, but I bet you do. If you're able to help me out and identify the right people, it would be mutually profitable. When do you have two or three minutes where I could give you a call and explain? See, what you did is you said, I don't know people. I would like to have a business in New York City. You probably know the right people in that area. You didn't say that they'd be interested and just say, if you're able to help me identify some great people and make sure it's mutually profitable. And that means what happens if someone put you in touch with eight great people and all eight wanted to partner? Wouldn't it make sense to tell Sam, all right, we're going to put you in and you got four people on your left and right. You're already going to be building residual income and I'm going to go to work, you know, and I'm going to teach you how to do this. You're already making money. I want to make sure you get paid for helping me out. Okay. So the two to three minute call is they give you a phone number. You just explain the same thing in the bullets before you go back. Appreciate you taking my call. Ask them a lot of questions about how long you lived in New York City. Ask the same things. Then say, that's the reason I reached out to you. It seems like you've been there for a while. I want to show you how this business works. You may or may not be interested. And here's the time, what times work best. Okay, very simple. Very, very simple. Again, the whole thing is you're trying to get someone to see the business plan live in person or on a webinar. Videos don't work that well. You want it live, something now, okay? Schedule the appointment. Have it live. Always have it live. Don't try to explain it. Get them to see the whole plan. Don't answer little questions. Get them to see the whole plan. Send reminders prior. They're joining a webinar on, on Thursday. Get, get a reminder out an hour before. Okay, book a follow-up as soon as it's done. You send them a text. Hey, I want to make sure you're on. Do you have a second for me to call you real quick? Because the win is you getting a follow-up appointment. Once you send your top 20 to your mentor, schedule a time to review it and, and go over the approaches. Uh, that's your homework for this video. And then once you're done with that, move on to number four because it's Facebook uh, networking. It's a video done on Meet On. And the key for you is to continuously build your network, so you're never relying on just 20 people or just a small group of people. You're going to have thousands of people, and you'll never, ever, ever in your lifetime run out of possibilities to build your business. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you on video four.